All right, a quick update here. Uh, I did find that zero offset uh, calibration um, in the manual. Um, let's see, in the manual, it's called the V pause adjustment, uh, V position adjustment, and uh, it tells you how to uh, uh, zero out the uh, uh, the DC offset. You uh, Put it on ground and hold down a button for two seconds and then it, it, it does the, the DC offset so that's great. Uh, so that's all working again. Uh, so now we have a nice um, zero reference for, for the signal. And then the other thing I found was, um, let's see here, um, you can do the selection. So this is this little box uh, that selects, now it's selecting the trigger uh, uh, trigger level and it actually displays the trigger level in the upper right which is nice uh, then you can uh, shift around uh, the um, waveform with respect to the trigger uh, so it has a little bit of memory in the front and the back and you can uh, scroll back and forth between that so that's a nice feature um, you can select the uh, uh, V position and uh, uh, move things uh, up and down uh, which is nice and then you can select the um, uh, horizontal resolution or horizontal uh, speed and uh, while you're in this mode if you hold down the select button you get a whole bunch of uh, uh, numbers <laughs> it, it'll read out the frequency this the um, uh, uh, spacing uh, let's see the pulse width um, duty cycle, maximum, minimum voltages, average voltages, peak-to-peak -peak voltages, RMS voltages, so it's really, really cool. It has a whole bunch of stuff in there. And um, if you go back to uh, the horizontal again and hold down the button, it goes away. So yeah, it's really, really nice. Um, so it's a very nice audio frequency, uh, audio frequency oscilloscope. I think it's quite usable. Um, and for 20 bucks, I mean, an oscilloscope for 20 bucks of this quality, and it, uh, you know, has single shot mode and everything. It's it's a digital oscilloscope. It's it's uh, it's quite good.